there directing traffic, putting everybody into positional play during the pre-season training for the Marist. He absolutely trained the house down. I think he's gained a bit of size. He's looking a lot more powerful, but he's certainly fit as well. So he'll be a player to watch during the uh, 2017 SAS box season. Oh, the old look, no pass. Or in that case, no look, pass. One of them. Maris now working up towards halfway. And it's some pretty simple one-out stuff. They don't need to uh, set the world alight in the second half. They hold a commanding 10-point lead, which in the nines is, is huge. And this will help. Penalty on halfway. I've just noticed we do have two number fives out there, so don't get confused uh, as to who we are referring to. Of course, the... Uh... <laughs> Simon will say, I'm the good-looking number five. <laughs> And if Craig Gray's watching this, he'd be confused because he's a number five. Okay, getting ready to... Um... No, that ball's going Loose off. Referee's not ball. happy with it. And uh, we're back underway now, so Maris taking it forward. Running at will now. Oh, great offload, but um, spilled it. And what's the referee saying about that? Yeah, we're going to have a point shift ball here. It was a good break from Elu. Managed to break free, but uh, in the end, coughs it up. Point shift will walk it out through Sione Fiel. Up towards the 40 metre line. Sione, we mentioned earlier, one of the real, um, probably premier, I guess, second rowers in the uh, Auckland competition. He was with Odahu, but with them getting relegated, it's obviously decided to try his luck at Point Chev and, uh, and look I'm sure he's going to feature for them at uh, Fox Memorial level this year if he does indeed uh, end up playing for the Pirates so good to see some guys sort of trying out new clubs and uh, and a few new faces around as Point Chev received back to back penalties now and work their way into the half and they've got to score and they've got to score quickly if they're going to mount a comeback here the Point Chev little generals out towards the right now, but the Marist defense up to task. Taplin breaking free. He's a slightly built player, but pretty powerful. Messi, well, old play the ball, year, no. and a little knock on in there. To be fair, a little bit hard on point Chev there. There was a man lying in the ruck. Um, I mean, he can't disappear, but uh, a little bit going on in there, and uh, unfortunately, point Chev cop up the error. Farts, the far side match on number two looks like um, the Pakaranga Jaguars are down inside the uh, Mungary East Hawks 20 and um, applying a bit of pressure there. But back to the main game on number one. Great run. Man, it went, thought about the offload. Oh, bobbled, retained it, gets up for a quick play of the ball, and here come Marist again. Through the line. Is he going to keep going? And he is going. He's in down, and no one in front of him. Strides out around the posts and oh, I missed it. I can't see. Uh, uh, no, the other Simon. Simon's out here. We're actually having turns now on, on trying to guess the uh, the winger for the um, for the Mara Saints and Corey, as always, the professional is whispering in my ear about have we got the correct name and let's be fair we don't have any names for Marist. That so. is completely true we <laughs> indeed do not have a single name for the Marist team and uh, being as neither Troy or I is a Marist club member we are a little uh, lost as to who is playing so we do apologize for that we uh, pestered team management for the team list but uh, not, not forthcoming on this occasion but anyway hope you're enjoying the coverage some good footy being played even if uh, we don't necessarily know the uh, names of the players. The young fella here though number five Taking a kick at goal. Good. Nice rhythm. Yeah, nice and there uh, from Bailey Thomas. Uh, that's one we do know. He's been super impressive. And tell you what, Troy, if I was putting together a team of the tournament, I would imagine he's going to be in there somewhere right now. He's, he's had a good tournament. Absolutely. And um, he's you know made his um, presence felt. Oh, the little short kick ahead. Being regathered by the Pirates. And they're in luxury territory now. Maris with a 20 points to four lead. The game is over, so they can try a few things that might be useful in the next round. Yeah, some of the some of the Saints boys love that. 
Here's the petite winger out here on the side for the uh, Mara Saints. Of course, we, we got to see Leo Pepe in uh, open space earlier. Got to say, not overly impressive uh, with the turn of speed, but... He didn't need any. He was carrying half the forward well, pack. this is right. And Troy, you obviously get around a lot of the Fox Memorial clubs. He'd be easily the biggest player in the Fox Memorial Premiership, wouldn't he? Or? Uh, yeah, there's not many. Um, it's not just about size. He's got height as well. He's a, um, you know, dare I say I use the old analogy. No, that, that man is a um, big, powerful uh, rugby league player. And, um, and I know they've been doing some work with him in the preseason as well. And if he gets up and gets mobile, gets a few Ks in those legs, he's going to have a fantastic season for 2017 for the Saints. Maris, I think, with the distinction, they probably have both the uh, the biggest player at the nines and also the smallest in Bailey Thomas. So He's Maris. also got a big vocal supporter too. His mum turns up to most of the games and stalks the sideline. And um, if by, by hell or high water, if somebody, you know, upsets her son, she'll let you know about it. Excellent. And that's uh, what more could you ask for from a mum? Yeah, that's true. Hopefully your mother's listening to the uh, live stream today, Corey, of the um, Sportsafe ARL 9s. And um, all the friends and family down in your small community there will be waiting for black and white autographs when you get home. Yeah, mum is listening. She flicked me a little text just before just to let me know to uh, keep my last name out of the commentary. She's a little <laughs> embarrassed, I think, about some of our antics today, Troy. But uh, we're having a good time down here at Stanmore Bay, as I think uh, is everyone else here, a big crowd building. Um, and we're getting ready for a, a huge afternoon. A few barbecues going over the back there as the, the players and support staff are enjoying themselves. And this is a fantastic tournament to kind of kickstart what is a huge year in rugby league. The longest season ever in rugby league, actually, with the uh, World Cup at the end of the year. There has never been more footy on, so this is the kind of start of it. Of course, the NRL kicking off in a couple of weeks' time. We've got the Warriors playing a trial tomorrow, so exciting times, Troy. Yeah, mate. And, um, uh, you got money on the Warriors being on the top four, Corey? I'm not a betting man myself, Troy, but look, they're, um, oh. they've got the ingredients. They've got the ingredients. And as we say that, a big spill from Point Chev is going to give Maris another chance as we wind down into the final couple of minutes of this one. Yeah, he's uh, sidestepping and walked right around that little Yeah, lovely bit of footwork tackle. From, the, uh, from the big fella there. And Point Chev now really out on their feet. They've done well to... Uh, to kind of compete in this tournament. They've had a, a team with mostly kind of new players as they led another one in there. Just a big gaping gap down the uh, right edge for Maris. But for this point, Chev side, well, um, you know, they've mainly made up of new players. They've got a couple of faces who we know. But it's a fair effort from them and, uh, and great to see them turn up. And I'm sure they've enjoyed the tournament nonetheless. As the full-time hooter sounds in the background. This kick will be the final play of the game. Bailey Thomas is going to attempt it. And he's been kicking well all day. He struck the ball well on that occasion as well. And another two points for the Saints and a high five around the team members. So a resounding victory for Maris in that one. Uh, 26 points to four. I think that'll be the biggest winning margin of the tournament so far. So well done to the Saints and to Point Chev. A little bit to work on there, but uh, plenty of new boys in the squad. And, uh, and they look like they've had some fun today anyway. So we move into a little bit of a break now, giving the teams a wee bit of a lunchtime uh, space, and then they will be talking about who the uh, teams will be sorted and the the teams that will be playing in the uh, quarters and the semis, and um, that'll be being sorted now in the administration part of the um, Hibiscus Coast Raiders 